Hi, I'm Terry with XLab, and I'm going to show you how to install an XLab Delta 200. The Delta 200 comes loosely installed with these screws. So the first thing you would want to do is tighten down these two screws. But actually, I'm going to throw you a curveball and show you how to install the XLab X-Strike CO2 kit. So the first step would be to uh, remove these screws. And remember, it's righty tighty lefty loosey. So now that we have these two 22 millimeter screws out, we'll discard those and make sure and use the two longer 30 millimeter screws that come with the Delta 200 in the packet. Next step is to install the longer screws through the inside of the cage here. Kind of hold them in place so you can flip them over and work with it this way. <laughs> Put the uh, black spacers on, the longer one on the top screw, shorter one on the bottom screw. Then you'll want to put your X-Strike CO2 kit on the back this way so that your CO2s are facing downward. Then you'll add the mount right on the back there. Then your stainless steel, or I'm sorry, your aluminum washers on right there. And then loosely tighten your nylock nuts. Now that you have all of your components in place, go ahead and tighten it up with your uh, four millimeter Allen wrench and hex wrench. And then go back and tighten it down with the torque wrench at 30 inch pounds. At this point, we have installed the X-Strike CO2 kit in between the cage and the mount, as you can see. However, if you don't have the CO2 kit to add with the Delta 200, you just want to make sure that you do tighten down these screws in the middle of the cage here that come loosely installed. And uh, next we'll remove this plate so that we can mount it onto the saddle. But for now, since we do have the CO2 installed, we're going to take the X-Strike CO2s off so that we have better access to the screws on the plate here and which we'll remove now. Okay, so now we're going to install the mount onto the saddle rails. So you'll take the plate here, wrap it around the back, put the mount on top here, and hand tighten with the screws through the two holes. Here's a tip. If you have a long four millimeter hex wrench, it's easier to go through the groove of the gorilla cage here to help tighten down the screw that way. With the Delta 200 installed, uh, we'll put the CO2s back in the X-Strike. Congratulations, now you have installed your Delta 200. So ride safe and ride fast.